All right, y'all, I'm gonna switch on over. Let's, uh, let's hop into the game at least. Before I, I get too distracted. Um, what am I trying to do? Isn't Dwarf Fortress that game that's been in development for a long time? Yeah, it's like, um... We looked it up on Tuesday. What was it? Since, um, 2002. So 22 years it's that's been in development. Nice <laughs> Thank you for the gifts up to generalized anxiety. Oh, there we go. Nope, they're, they're giving me a loot box. Fuck off, Twitch. I don't- I'm not gonna ever open a loot box from you, especially when clicking that button doesn't do anything. It's been in development since 2002, um, been in alpha since 2006, and is still probably about halfway done, according to what the developers want to accomplish. This game is why Minecraft exists, it's why RimWorld exists, it is the OG of this type of game. Yeah, one of the OG inspirations for Minecraft. Not to date myself too much, um, but unironically, I remember when this guy on the Dwarf Fortress forums was talking about making a 3D single-player Dwarf Fortress. I'm sorry, a 3D first-person Dwarf Fortress. So that gives you an idea of, of what this game is. Don't know why my dwarves don't like me. But the YouTube comments love to tell you. Yeah. Dwarf happiness is a challenge. And there's a lot of superstition about it. So we had built our... I'll give a quick tour of the fort because I also have to remember what we're working on. I know we just finished building farms. Had to find out I unlocked this myself. Oh, that's an excellent one, actually. So we are in a surprisingly flat mountain. In the foothills of a surprisingly flat mountain. Um, on a trade road, and there's a tunnel somewhere that goes through this area. So we're gonna have to be careful not to break into that while digging. Um, down this ramp and around the corner is our trade depot. We have a little bit of a early fort and, uh, and just some stockpiles up here. Then we have our bigger stockpile down here. Our factory floors here. Stone, wood, metal, a kitchen, and plants. We're gonna have to build um, cloth production somewhere else too. I might tuck it down here in with wood because we don't really need this much space for wood. Uh, this is gonna be extra food storage. And then the actual fortress itself is taking shape down here. We have a tavern, a temple, and bedrooms. All I want to do is to keep digging new caves, and it's all I need religion. I need more beer variety, and why does the water hole taste like my daughter drowned in it? It's probably because their daughter drowned in it. Uh, there's a lot of people out there who will tell you that the only thing your fortress needs to keep the dwarves happy is a mist generator. They're wrong. You can have pissed off dwarves who have been, uh, who've been misted. And all a mist generator really does is slow down your fortress. Corpse has been rotting for the last six months because no one will clean it up. Probably because no one can get there. Wells are dangerous. Speaking of wells... Right, we already irrigated. 
Um, I may want to build a cistern, though. Sorry, not a cistern. What's the other one? The one that's not full of shit. A... Transstern. <laughs> Debate digging into the water to get there and because I want to know how far the water will flood into the base. Yeah. Yeah, you have to be really careful with water. It's flooding. I've lost a lot of bases to flooding when I was first learning this game. Not an aqueduct. It's a... Uh... Oh, it's going to bother me. What's the word? The word for a place that collects fresh water. Reservoir. Thank you. That's the word I was thinking of. I want to build a reservoir. I guess I could be unpaused while I'm doing this. I'm just going to start building more bedrooms right now. We're going to build these ones a bit smaller. Oh. Pause. Remember when I said at the beginning of stream that I'm stupid today? It's an idea, just be dig a huge hole under the water then have a dwarf I don't like dig into the ceiling underneath. That unironically could work. It could also go terribly wrong, but it could work. Also been taught, told you pause too much. I try to pause less when I'm streaming. I pause a lot when I'm not. Look at how cute they are! I know I did this last time too, but look at how cute they are! Look at his little sword! Look at his large iron dagger! His stupid face! I love them! But you say that every stream. Hi, Monique. Do I say I know I said this last stream every stream? <laughs> or that I'm stupid today, because I'm I think I do say that every stream. Our livestock are probably going to keep the cobalts away. Pretty easily. I'm not too worried about them. Yeah, they're already gone. <laughs> you do, but you should say it less. Arr. Okay. Team Lizard Cobalt or Team Mammal Cobalt? I don't know. I I don't have a strong opinion on that fight. I um when I think cobalt, I tend to think lizard. Um because that was my first exposure was in D&D 3rd Ed with little lizard boys. Historically, they were just little guys. Yeah, they were little guys who spoiled the iron. Play Europa, I'm microing my economy. If I play DF, I'm microing my cavern digs. Yeah. 
Dragons are both. That's true. I mean, that's the other thing is lizards are just weird dogs. Saw the fishing notification and then realized I'm not sure what we have for food. Uh, now I want to check how many bedrooms I have, and there's not a good way to do this right now, so I'm going to do it the not good way. 13 beds. Yeah, see, that's not enough. How many beds do I have? Uh, built. None. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Make me 23 beds. I wasn't going that far. I meant the merely all dragons have mammal and lizard biology. Oh, good point. I just meant that lizards are weird dogs. I don't know, that's that's like a point that I've seen going around, is that all animals are either a weird dog or a weird cat. Okay, so we have enough doors. Um, build, build furniture. How many extra chests do we have? Okay. Cabinets. Do you admit bears are big dogs? No, 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 no. Bears are big cats. Rock buffer. Rock cabinets. 20 of each. go. Dogs are actually just weird whales and cats are actually just weird raptors. It's a bold statement, but I'll, I'll take it. Eh? Did I cancel construction? No. Oh no, they built it. Oh, weird. Okay. I'm not sure what happened there. Oh, and now that I see what happened. They placed the chest down, but didn't actually build it. <gasps> we have humans! And we're out of logs. Excellent. Trick I learned very many years ago is that dwarves are stupid, so don't uh, don't cut down trees near the water, except when it's winter. Humans with their inventions. Humans are kind of just shittier dwarves who live above ground in, in this universe. We can bring some food just in case. So we're actually doing really good on food, so I wouldn't mind trading some away. Feed them weird dwarf food. Like plastic and styrofoam. I'll grab gems. 
I really like to trade raw materials from humans and dwarves and to trade animals from elves, and that's really what I'm looking for from the different factions. Asbestos and radioactive rock. So there is a, um... It's that one song on repeat? Wait, which song? Human song? Why oh, I have so many buckets? Alright, whatever. I need to build the cairn. Radioactive. Oh, yeah. So a human song. There we can build the cairn. Um, I forget what the game calls it because it uses an antiquated term for it. But uranite is an ore in this game. I think it's called. I think it's pitch blend. And you can make trade goods out of uranite. Um, and trade them to the humans, and nobody seems to matter. Nobody seems to care that you're giving them radioactive cups. Which I've always found very funny. Um, another, um... Another strategy that's very funny to me is is trading lead flasks to the elves. Because they have no problem with lead. I know you need logs. Great. Expedition leader Lor Kimishild meets with the human high treasurer Dumith Tuamputi. On behalf of the Merchants Guild, let me exchange greetings to your people. There's much to discuss. Does it do them with developmental diseases? Not yet, but I can't promise that it's not something that is being considered. So I want iron from you guys. I would also love wood. Willow would be great. Is there anything else that I remember being particularly lightweight? I used to know this, but I don't anymore. We'll ask for Willow. We could also probably get some seeds from them. One of the very silly things about this game that has not been fixed yet is that the underground crops have seasons, but growing crops above ground does not care what time of year or climate, or the time of year it is, but does care what climate it is. Can your dwarves do hydroponics? Kind of. We kind of already am. Already are. Humans are also great for food, but I'm not going to ask for food from them. We're just going to ask for willow logs and iron bars. A uh, need for tools and ammunition is expected. Hmm. We'll see. I can't promise I'll be able to do either for them, but that would be interesting. That's a lot harder than rings. I saw cheeses. Do they have human cheese? No human cheese, only dwarf cheese. And various animal cheeses. So, not to get too nitty gritty about how the game works, but, um, farm plots have fertility levels. And if, for example, I dug a farm plot into this silt here, one level below the surface, it would have low fertility. If I dug down deep into the caverns and planted in the soil there, it would have high fertility. 
But because we irrigated stone, even though we couldn't plant on the stone without irrigating it, the irrigated stone has the same fertility level as the deep cavern soil. Um, because hydroponics? I don't know. We're essentially doing hydroponics here, though, because we're just growing on stone with a little bit of wet. Humans are actually great for food, really just purifying those bear safety tips. They don't have bear safety, these humans. They don't know. All right, let's see what the humans have for them. You make lettuce beer. Unfortunately, no. Um, what are some of the funny beers that you can make? I think you can make quinoa beer. Isn't that kimchi? Kimchi's kind of like lettuce beer, you're right. I'm going to take all their logs. Uh, Blue Jay, Eagle, Hedgehog. I don't want any of these animals. Kangaroo milk. Oh, we could... I'm going to buy some swamp whiskey because we're low on... You can make pineapple wine. Oh, kimchi is cabbage is yeah, cabbage beer, not lettuce beer. Yeah, apparently pineapple wine is a thing. Can't trade no reason to trade uh clothes from the humans because theirs are too big. Ooh, let's buy some tomatillo seeds. I don't know if we'll be able to use them, but we can make salsa. I'm not going to buy flour because it's too expensive, and I'm not going to buy sand. It is a berry. Pineapple tea is amazing. Ooh. Apple wine pairs well with pizza. Dangerous statement. I might buy some leather from them. I'm just like going over, but like for the people who aren't familiar with this game, let's talk about some of the leathers that the humans are selling me. Chicken leather. Common skate leather, bull shark leather, chimpanzee leather, bonobo leather. Warthog leather, goose leather, chicken leather is still the weirdest one. Actually, no, kiwi leather, beaver leather, that sounds like a euphemism, uh, impala leather, cuttlefish leather, <laughs> great white shark leather, which apparently has very low value. Oh, sea lamprey leather. Turns out you can make leather from anything with skin in this game. Chicken leather is still my favorite out of these. Ooh, giraffe leather. Don't look, Fusion. I'm not going to say this one. Um, This is something you'll see pretty commonly in this game. Is there human leather? There can be, yes. Unironically, there absolutely can be. I already have an anvil. Yeah. It's, it's an unfortunate... Don't buy it. All right. I can do that. We'll not, we won't buy this, this chest, this bin. Um, one of the things I've always debated is that there's some pretty weird food items available in this game, and sometimes the humans will bring you weird food items. And I've always debated whether or not one humped camel brain is just a human delicacy, 
Or if the humans are like, Oh, don't throw away that camel brain. We'll eat the good stuff, but those weirdo dwarves down the, down the road will buy it from you. And I haven't come up with a good answer for that. Ooh, and tomatillos. I won't need to buy those seeds after all. I'm gonna buy them anyway, but... Ah yes, horse cheese, donkey cheese, and goat cheese. Water buffalo cheese. Uh, I might buy some cheeses. And you are proving them right. Dwarves will eat anything. That was never a question. I'm gonna try not to sell them any rings. They eat the two comped camel brains and they want to share the joy but not the good stuff. Shark brain and horse cheese sandwich with pineapple wine. That is unironically a meal that you can see in this game. <laughs> hey Archangel! How close are we to balance? I don't want to spend all day doing this. But I don't want to trade them rings so I can give them to the dwarves. Oh, wait, we're actually... We're doing pretty well on money. I'm gonna see, what was it that I wasn't gonna buy because it was too expensive? Flour, right? I'm gonna buy some flour from them. I'm also gonna buy some cloth. Humans have good cloth. It's not as good as spider silk, but it's, it's much, I, I think it's much better than pigtail. Bags, oat flour. I'm not gonna buy the tomatillo seeds. Yeah, I will. I keep going back and forth on that. And teff flour. I don't know what teff is. I think it's a real plant, though. It is! Tiny green! Originating from Ethiopia. Neat. Red sand, make red sandstone. Unfortunately, we can't. Um, we can eventually make glass. Uh, but buying... I generally don't bother buying sandbags from merchants. Importing sand is expensive and heavy. Ethiopia confirmed to exist in Tor Fortress. Dwarf Fortress has both New World and Old World crops in it. Okay, we're pretty close to being balanced. Let's trade away some mugs. I don't want to trade away too many mugs, actually, because my dwarves will get cranky. All right, we're almost balanced budget-wise for this trade. I've been spending more time on the screen than I really wanted to. But I had to yap about the, uh, the weirdness of this game. 
Hey, Seahorse, good to see you. Don't worry about menuing being bad content, because that's a lie. I mean, fair. You caught me. Trade. Tikwu seems very happy about the trading. Excellent. I'm very happy about the trading, too. Let's, um... Let's unmark our trade goods. Because we did bring all our food to the trade port. Trade... Trade port? Trade depot. Alright. My treasurer, human caravan... Now, let's see about that those kitchen goods. What can we brew? Oh, we can make tomatillos into wine, maybe? Let's do that. Let's not cook with let's not cook with swamp whiskey or pineapple wine. But we can cook with oat flour and water buffalo cheese. Garden cress, garden cress leaves, white yams, valley herbs, tomatillo seeds. Let's not use the tomatillo seeds for cooking yet. We may later. Spice wine? Yeah, spicy wine. Let's see, I don't remember what tomatillos uh, brew up into. I'm just going to check real quick. Usually I just have the wiki open while I play. Tomatillo. They can also be brewed into tomatillo wine. Yep. I was right. It is wine. Oh, we have a second cranky dwarf. Nope. Uh, there's my... Okay, it'll, it's going to take a while for them to understand what's going on. Can we mill plants? No. What did I need a quern for? I don't remember. I mean, I'm going to need it eventually. I just don't remember what I need it for now. Prepare easy meals. I'm going to make another 10 bronze rings for the dwarves. For the dwarf traders, that is. For the mountain home, that's the correct term. Oh, I do also want to build workshop farm plot. I want to build a small garden here. I may not actually use it. But I want to see what crops are available in our climate. Technically, I think I could build a second farm plot. A second garden over here that would grow different crops because this is a this is a mountain. This is a forest, I think, or plains. Correct, no migrants this season. It's fine. We may not be able to grow tomatillos, so those seeds may have been useless, but we'll find out.
Our yaks have given one of our yaks has given birth. Bed work order is done. No, but not all of them are in the stockpile. That's always something that trips me up. Uh, we don't have rock nuts. And we're out of bronze bars. Are we going to start making bronze bars? Uh, just, just don't make one. Just only make nine rings. That's fine. I guess we don't have a work order to make bronze bars. Make three bronze bars uh, if there's less than ten bronze bars and if we have greater than three tin, greater than three copper, and greater than ten coal. What about these nuts? I just have rock nuts. Oh, maybe that's what I needed a quern for, was to make rock nut butter. <laughs> I unironically think I may have wanted to make nut butters. Mash plant into a slurry. What can I make and mash into a slurry? No, I just have rock nuts. Make nut butters out of nut meat. Yes. Exactly. Although I, I would need a screw press and... And a, um... Uh, what's the word? And a potter. To make nut butters. Because you have to make... Because you turn nuts into nut butter and nut oil. I'm just looking for excuses to keep saying nut. It's a funny word. Merchants will be leaving soon. Oh, and thanks for the stretch. I did get that hydrate, by the way. I think I forgot to say it out loud. Oh my... Fuck. Ow. Ah. I'm really sore today. Ah. Ooh. Nut oil then lubricates the screw press. That's how it's reproduced. I, I don't know. I've, I've always thought that... So... Sex isn't represented in this game. And... People have done experiments with both dwarves and animals that would suggest that dwarves reproduce through spores. Because they don't have to be in the same room to have a baby together. So I like to think that little baby dwarves just kind of grow from the beard of their parent. And sprout off when they're, done, when they're ready. <clears throat> I've felt this way for, for quite some time. YouTube, I need you to stop pausing my music. Oh, this song slaps.
Uh, this this whole playlist, by the way, is all official or semi-official Dwarf Fortress music. Um, and some of it is, and the ones with lyrics, Dwarves are actually a type of fungi. Exactly. Uh, all the songs in here with lyrics are written in Dwarvish. Like the, the language that was created for this game. Which I find just lovely. Explains the shape of their noses? Oh, I see what you mean. Yeah. Because they're fungus. Are they among us? We're among them. Don't you don't you see? <laughs> yeah, too. I I I understand entirely. Who is this naked dwarf? It must be it must be a baby. Yeah, okay. We're the unbearded ones? So there are unbearded dwarves. Um, I think Dwarf Fortress sadly has the um takes the stand generally has female dwarves not having beards, which I disagree with. Um, but male dwarves can also be beardless. Um, which is especially funny because children can have beards. Um, because they haven't, uh, they're working on making children models right now for this version. Uh, keep in mind that dwarves used to just have like a little ASCII icon, so... The, there was never a need to have to decide whether or not they had beard women dwarves had beards or not or for children dwarves to be represented differently children were just a different color until recently oh my doors are getting cranky let's take a peek they're all children all right let's make some toys Make, uh, make 25 rock toys. Ask games about what I played when I was 10. I mean, these guys too. Uh, a, a big part of the story of how this game got made is they just, like, couldn't get over games changing. And, and, like, graphics in 3D. And just wanted to play the games of their childhood again, so they made Dwarf Fortress. That's the other thing. Dwarf Fortress, and I i always forget this, but I, I genuinely believe it. I think Dwarf Fortress is also not only responsible for RimWorld and Minecraft, but it's also responsible for the roguelike revival. Because it, Dwarf Fortress Adventure Mode was one of the first modern roguelites. That's huge. This game is so influential. <laughs> it's incredible. And and the fact that people still even with this version don't know this know much about this game is is such a such a shame. Oh shit, we need to run ads. I'm going to continue rambling about Dwarf Fortress for those of you who uh, who can skip ads. Um we will be right back. Everybody take a chance to get up and stretch. Get some water, make a sandwich, make some coffee.
take care of your meat vessel. You only get one of them, and uh, if for no other reason than that, you need to take care of it. We will be back in three minutes. See you then.